Hello everyone, I'm here with Methods. Hello. And Enemy's friend. Hey. -o. And today we want to show you an updated version of the yeah, Frosted Ice walkway maker. Uh, so we got some comments that suggest to make a guardrail on the side of it. And now this machine uh, would make a platform where you can yeah, uh, drive with your boat and also some railings on the side so you wouldn't fall in the void in the end dimension. I would say we just let this machine running here for a while. You can see what happens. So like before we have uh, Armistead in the front that freezes a 5 white layer and then we have two Armistead here in the back that, uh, that freeze additional blocks. And since it would look kind of odd to have a 2 white guardrail here we punch uh, one of those uh, ice blocks down and then it uh, becomes water and we just delete the water by pushing into a block in this space and this way we get this nice guardrail. And as before, I can easily stop the machine by placing a non-movable block here. So making a one-wide uh, guardrail or uh, ice uh, wouldn't work because we always need two water sources to get yeah, um, yeah, the water spreading. Yeah, because we actually don't really move the original water source. We create an infinite pool and create a water source here and destroy mm -hmm. the first one. Yeah, so so it has to be too wide. So basically this and this is a water source and then it spreads to the other ones. But you, you can't make it one wide because you don't have any water source spreading. So that's why we need to make a two wide uh, ice lane here. Um, you might also have an another idea, maybe show it in the back, um, to use the blocks we already created and push them up. So this works just, but just for a single block here. So if you would try to push one of those up, then it would melt and then you might have the idea to uh, re -fre freeze it again. Oh, I need Frostwalker boots. Okay, and then push the next one up. Um, but because of the melting mechanics, if you would, if you put this one up, then all of the yeah, ice would freeze again. And then at a time you would need to freeze an infinite amount of water again. So this is not really an option to make a guardrail. That's a funny way to make instant wire. Yeah, true. So if you don't want to use redstone for an instant wire line, you can also use frosted ice. <laughs> but the reset will be awful. <laughs> and now let's start with the tutorial. So we start with the front part first. So here in the three wide slime block platform, then we put redstone block in the middle on top of it, and two blocks on the side here. You can use any block. Then we'll add slime blocks on the side, and redstone blocks on top. And we're gonna push that with normal pistons, like so. Now we connect those pistons, slime blocks, like this. And the whole structure will be pushed by another piston right here. Now we can also extend this part in the front, just, just add two more blocks like this. And now we can start working on the ice generator. So here we need two sticky pistons like this. Here's some more blocks. Here a block you can power. Then the back we put in an observer. And then we'll add some blocks on top. Like this. Now we need to add some frosted ice, so get a bucket and put down some water sources here. Then get your frost walker boots and walk on it. And now we need to expand it with two more blocks to the back. Just get a bucket and walk around a little bit. Now we place down a piston right here. Then we add slime blocks in the back, like this. Here we place down the armor stand, put frostwalker boots on it. And here we place down an observer. And here's another normal piston that pushes the structure. And then we need a redstone block, which powers this piston. And now we connect it to the bottom part here. 
like this. Then we also need one more observer to power this piston here. Before continuing with the gold rail maker, I would uh, recommend to let this machine fly a little bit. So you could add a redstone block right here. Add another piston, then a block in the back, sticky piston, slime block, redstone block, and a normal piston here. And then you can update this one here, and it would move on forwards, and do this a few times to so get a nice platform here. Okay, then you can remove that stuff again. Now let's continue with the guard rail maker. So here we need an observer in this position, sticky piston in front, then some slime blocks on top, and a block here, and four blocks right here, three blocks here, and another three right here. Then we also need to push this structure here forwards, so add another piston and downwards facing observer. And to push that we add piston here and observer in the back. Then some slime blocks like this, which also connects down right here. And now we'll take care of those blocks here, so we add normal pistons right here. Then we connect those slime blocks like this and go out three more blocks in the back here. We put down some blocks. Then in front, place down an observer powering those pistons. Here we have another normal piston and a redstone block right here. Then we also need a piston to push this here. So place one right here. Then connect it with slime blocks and add a piston that yep, punches downwards and add an observer that powers those two pistons. Now we need to add frosted ice again. So you get your bucket and the frost walker boots. So this is six long. And now we can add the armor stand with the frost walker boots. Right here. Now you need to mirror this whole structure and build it on the other side. Now I add normal pistons, pushing the structure forwards right here, also for the other side here. And connect them. And add up servers on top. And here we just need another piston. Now would be a good time to check if you build everything correctly, so just move this one closer and power it. And yeah, seems like it worked fine. So now we could add two more slime blocks right here. So I would have power this one. Then sticky piston right here. Then a normal piston here. Then we need some kind of block right here and another sticky piston and normal piston here. Then another slime block and here we just go down a bit and put down a block here like this. And now we can add redstone blocks. And this is your engine. Um, you could start it by updating this sticky piston here. 
So if I use a flint and steel on it, one forwards. And you can stop it by placing down a non movable block. And as you can see, we get a yeah, nice ice highway with a guardrail on the side.